Welcome back, everybody. It is me, Cyrus, and today we're looking at the Dreamcast again, and we're going to be checking out some first-person shooter games using the mouse and keyboard, if they work, if they actually do work with these games. And uh, it's just a really cool way to play games on uh, the Dreamcast for the games that do support it. And I wanted to show what that looks like and give you kind of an idea of of the differences and stuff like that you know so yeah it's a really nice mouse it's nothing too fancy this is before the days of optical mice <laughs> before they were really prevalent so it's just a regular old school uh mouse it is a nice keyboard um it's uh it's not like super clicky mechanical but it's nice mine's not in the best shape but it is fine it it works fine so yeah just a really cool way to play games if it works if it's supported so let's see what some first person shooter games look like using the mouse and keyboard with the sega dreamcast first game that uh, we're going to take a look at is a game that i've promised that we would so uh, rather than make you wait let's just go ahead and do it let's jump straight in there's a prototype version of half-life that was released for the well it wasn't officially released for the dreamcast but uh, you can get it you can download it burn yourself a copy and try it out for yourself and how does it compare to the playstation 2 version of half-life that's a good question that's something that i was very curious about the playstation 2 version did have some frame ish frame rate issues the resolution seemed to be a little lower than I was hoping for, but um, it ran fine. It was playable. I didn't have any real complaints about it. Um, of course, you, uh, as far as I know, that game doesn't have any kind of uh, mouse or keyboard support on PlayStation 2. I don't even think there's a keyboard for the PlayStation 2. I might be wrong about that, but... Uh, yeah let's see how this is on the dreamcast let's check it out half-life 2 so we'll fire up the dreamcast here and we'll jump into this thing i can't tell you how confusing it is to do this next to my computer with another keyboard and another mouse sitting next to the dreamcast keyboard and mouse it's hard to, your brain wants to reach for the wrong thing. <laughs> Gearbox is the same company that did the PlayStation 2 port. Okay, so I'm not going to use the controller. I'm just going to use the mouse and keyboard here. And let's see how it goes. Keys seem to work good. The mouse click. I already clicked the mouse once just to get to this menu. All right. Let's go into options. And we'll go into controls. And we can customize our controls. So that's good. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. Move forward, W, move back, S. Okay, this is going to be fine. It's going to be like strafe left, A. yeah. Okay. Strafe left, A, strafe right, D. I see what they're doing. Okay, we'll give this a shot. We'll see how it works with just the standard controls that are already set up. So just hit the escape button. Takes me back. Back out of this. We'll just start a new game. I will have the volume up just a little. Not too much, but just a little more. Okay, so we've got a hazard course, half-life, and blue shift. Blue Shift was that expansion that they had brought out that changed the player models 
slightly improved, well, pretty dramatically improved some of the player models, I would say. Um, and that's built into this. So, yeah. Blue Shift is not only the enhanced player models, but it's a separate campaign designed around the the security guards, the Blue Shift. So, all right. So let's check out Half-Life. We'll see how this goes. Okay, we'll do it on easy mode. This is running on my Dreamcast. This is not on an emulator or anything like that. Very curious to compare the frame rate and everything to the PlayStation 2 version. The mouse seems to be working well. Oh, I can walk around already. That's good. Keyboard's working well. sensitivity is actually pretty nice i'm was kind of concerned what the sensitivity for the mouse would be like and if i'd be able to adjust it but so far i i don't think i need to do any adjustment on it this train is inbound from level three dormitories to sector c test lab and control facilities if you were to the destination is a high security Well, so far, I will say that the frame rate seems to be really nice, and the resolution seems to be really nice, too. In fact, I would say both, so far, are at least as good as what the PlayStation 2 had going, and might, and maybe better maybe better well, i know the resolution is better for sure because this is 640 by 480 480p and the playstation 2 version was not playstation 2 version was interlaced so that's an improvement that's amazing that this would run better and and look better on the Dreamcast than it does on the PlayStation 2. And with the mouse and keyboard, probably control a lot better. The loading times are not bad. They're not bad at all, actually.
this evening at nineteen hundred hours in the level three facility the semi finals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure access transmission remember more lives than your own may depend on your fitness do you have a friend or relative who would make a frame rate does stutter a little bit here and there I'm not gonna lie But it's not like we didn't get that on the PlayStation 2 version either. So far, so good. Of course, we're just now getting to the game. But graphically and frame rate, controls, everything seems to be Please very good. From the automated door and wait for the security One thing I do want to try to change is the mouse. Before exiting See if I can invert up and down on the mouse. I think I prefer it the other way. Thank you. Let's see if it'll let me do that options controls advanced controls invert i don't know if that would change it for the mouse hmm let's back up see if we can Okay. Might not let me change it. It's not that big a deal. I just have to get used to it. But I'm just going to see real quick. If that changes it there if that did then maybe i already had it inverted in the first place and that was what the problem was no it didn't affect it okay well i just got to get used to it no problem i don't really play with a mouse and keyboard like i used to so
I got space set to jump. Crouch is control. I can crouch with the left mouse button yeah. there on the, the side mouse button, I should say. Sorry, sir. I've got to stay in my post. Okay. Mr. Freeman, I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Most of the simulation results are perfectly acceptable, you know. Trying different keys to see what they do. Oh, there we go. So the E button is to interact with things. That's good. That'll work. Hey, stop! What are you doing? Come on, Gordon. You trying to get me into trouble? Yeah, I really want to invert that mouse. Kind of freaking me out a little. Yeah, I just did a check one more time to see if there was a way to do that, to invert the mouse. Because I'm just not used to this for whatever reason. Um, and I don't see an easy way to do that. There might be a way if you went in and manually edited the configuration files in the game which i don't know exactly how you would do for the dreamcast version of this but uh there's probably a way to do it there might even be a way to do it in the console using console commands but i don't know i don't know how that would work so it's fine i just have to deal with it get kind of used to it it's kind of I think I am going to change the keys for movement though, because I'm used to, when I use mouse and keyboard, I have a different setup than this. So I think I'm going to change that real quick. Okay. I changed my keys around, make it a little easier for me to maneuver. Although this up and down thing is just going to bug me, but it is what it is. God, what are you doing? <laughs> All right. This is all within Yeah, this is uh ridiculous This is nice. This is running really well and looks really good. So there's a difference. Obviously the PlayStation 2 version has some improved uh, geometry and things. The first aid kits don't look like this. They have the syringe thing that comes out with the tank. 
so that looks different so yeah PlayStation 2 version has some definite improvements I think I would say that the lighting is probably better in the PlayStation 2 version and there's some geometry improvements for sure you can see the uh, texture changing down the, the wall there as you're moving down the hallway that's kind of a common thing that you see in the Dreamcast they were still trying to get uh, that sort of thing optimized back in those days and they had certain limitations so it's really noticeable on the Dreamcast it's the same thing happens on uh, Nintendo 64 but it's not as noticeable because the resolution is usually lower and the frame rate is usually lower on the N64. So it's something you don't notice as much, but it's a lot more pronounced. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but you can see that texture changing as you get closer to the spot on the wall. You'll see it on the floor. I noticed the first time I noticed it on the Dreamcast was... The first time I played the Dreamcast when I played Sonic Adventure, because you can see it in that game. But it's really not a big deal. I don't, it doesn't bother me. And if it means getting a better frame rate or higher fidelity assets up close, then I'm totally fine with that. Yeah. Yeah, I really feel like this is just my personal opinion, but I really do feel like Half-Life is supposed to be played with a mouse and keyboard. This was a PC game. It was ported to consoles, but this is a PC game. And I just feel like it's it's better when you play it with a mouse and keyboard. See if I can figure out how to get down this ladder. Oh, crap. Well, that's not how you get down the ladder. <laughs> that's not how you do that. Okay, lesson learned. Uh, save your game. Save it often. <laughs> I had to start the whole game over because I died. So, yeah. All right, let's see if we can get this, if get the ladder to work. We'll try it again. Uh, yeah, there we go. Just didn't quite have a handle on how the ladder was working. All right, we're good. Slowly getting used to the mouse. Hey guys, how you doing? Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? You can definitely see some like polish needed to be done to finish this game. You see like the artifacting on the wall and the ceiling up here. There's definitely some uh, small little things they needed to fix. You can see it right there. All the little white lines and stuff from the geometry. But they were, this thing's basically like 99% done as far as I can tell. Just a few little things they needed to polish up. This would have been really mind blowing back in the day if I'd have had this on Dreamcast. Ah, Gordon, 
Here you are. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Yeah, when there's a lot of people around or a lot of things going on, the frame rate does get pretty choppy. I wonder if I should run that test again. It's about to go critical. What the hell is going on with our equipment? It wasn't probably could have been optimized though in the last stages of development. Plus, it's worth mentioning that since this is a Dreamcast game, had it been released and there was a few little things that needed improving, improving, there's no reason why there couldn't have been a patch released for this on the Dreamcast if it had to be. That was a, a new concept yeah. to consoles, obviously, but uh, yeah, it could have happened. There, there were patches released for Dreamcast games back in the day. It's funny because back in those days, a patch for a game, like a bug fix patch, was usually pretty small. Nowadays, when they do a uh, an update, they make you basically download the whole freaking game. It's pretty weird. Potentially the most unstable. No, no. If you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that I do think the graphics in this wrong. game look really uh, good. Yes, and compared to the right. PlayStation 2, Gordon, in some ways it looks better in you. on here yeah, than it does on the PlayStation ahead. 2. Let's let him in now. But in some ways it doesn't. And the fact that I'm even having that discussion is pretty telling because the PS2 is considerably more powerful than the Dreamcast. Testing. Testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon, your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Stage two emitters activating now. Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Please, work as quickly as you can. Overhead capacitors to uh, 105 percent. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably, but I'm showing a small discrepancy in... 
Well, no, it's well within acceptable bounds again. Sustaining sequence. I've just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you any moment now. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Shutting down. Attempting shutdown. It's not. It, it's not. It's not shutting down. It, it's not. Play the game. Cascade, let alone create one. Gordon, you're alive. Thank God for that hazard suit. I'm afraid to move him and all our phones are out. Please, get to the surface as soon as you can and let someone know we're stranded down here. You'll need me to activate the retinal scanners. I'm sure the rest of the science team will gladly help you. With my brains and your brawn, we'll make an excellent team. play a little bit longer here this video is already pretty long I didn't intend to be playing half-life for this long but yeah it's pretty cool having I'm having a good time 
Ouch, take it off me. Famous elevator to hell. Sorry, y'all. It's interesting, I actually have to delete stuff to save stuff. Running out of space. There we go. It's all saved. Barney, do your thing. Got one.
Yeah, I think I would say that um, the Dreamcast version of Half-Life is pretty good. I think there are some definite things about it that are better. The resolution, uh, you know, um, that's the biggest thing that's better about them than the PlayStation 2 version. Mouse and keyboard support, obviously, that's really cool. But um, PlayStation 2 version, I think, has better geometry, better lighting, um, it does have some improvements. It's not a, you know, um, this version's not a hundred percent better or worse. You have auto aim in this too, just like you do on the PlayStation 2 version. It even works with mouse. I think you can disable it though. Let me see real quick. Options. Controls. Yeah, you can turn that off if you don't want it. Yeah, we'll go ahead and turn that off. going to have to leave me here, Gordon.
right. Do crouch to get down in there, I think. Hmm. Weird. Let me check my controls, find out why I can't go down there. Swim down. There we go. I'll change that. There. We'll do that. Come on, go down there. What is the problem? Wow, I don't know what the problem is with this. I can't seem to go down into the water. Oh, there I go. Ha! <laughs> I just went down for no reason. I don't know what was stopping me. That's weird. Okay.
Come on down, buddies. Bunch of these guys. They just keep coming, huh? See if I can push these over here. I don't know if I can get on top of that. Probably not. I get up there. That was close. Power fifty percent. Power seventy percent. Power ninety percent. There's those guys. Oh boy, yeah, I don't want to go down there.
How can you not love Half-Life? I've spent an entire hour just playing this. So I guess this this episode's just going to be the Half-Life episode. Next time we'll have to look at a different game. I might do one game per video. Because I seem to get kind of caught up in these. So next time we'll try Quake 3. We'll do a little bit of Quake 3 on Dreamcast with mouse and keyboard. Should be fun. Yeah, frame rate is pretty inconsistent. Some people would prefer like a steady frame rate no matter what it is. Like even if it's, you know, 20 frames a second, 30 frames a second, as long as it's the same frame rate. Personally, I don't, it doesn't bother me one way or the other. I mean, I, <laughs> you know, uh, games when I was growing up and when I was a little bit older frame rates were all over the place oh no <laughs> that's where I die load last save game yep not sure how far back I saved but yeah I'm I'm cool with it 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 looks fine it plays fine it's fun this is a fun way to play half-life course i obviously i would recommend if you're gonna play half-life for the experience of the game itself i would do it on pc i would play the modern version of half-life half-life source because that just looks you know considerably better plays considerably better um on a modern computer but that's up to you Oh, we're all the way back here. Okay, well, I'm going to stop here. Next time, we'll play some uh, Quake 3 on Dreamcast with mouse and keyboard. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it, guys. Let me know your thoughts. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.